It's happening, guys. It's happening. Ooh, let's do this. Hey, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time stopping by, feel free to subscribe. Don't believe like these kind of content. And if you're returning subscriber, you already know you're a real one. I cannot remember the last time I said this, and it feels good to be back. I know, I know, it has been a minute and a half actually. I went MIA for some reason and went on this YouTube hiatus. YouTubers, go on. I mean, I'd like to start by saying Happy New Year, Happy 2022. I hope everyone's having a good year so far. 2022 is going to be a positive year by God's grace, and um, loads of amazing things. I hope would happen to us all. So, yeah, this is going to be a live update video slash things i have learned so far from my experience of being on youtube i know i haven't been the most consistent however i have learned a few things over the past year of being on youtube and i thought it would be nice to share that with you guys and if there's anyone out there as well looking to start a youtube channel as well this could be helpful to you in some way yeah live update so what has been going on where have i been what have i been up to where is life for me just now and um, I guess I took the past couple weeks um, slash months to reflect on my channel and just my life in general. So this is coming into 2022 now, just like a reflective time of my life to see um, goals I had um, and things I had planned for my channel and just where I was at. One of the goals I had for my channel was to release about two videos a month, but that was my ambitious side. My practical and realist side aimed for 12 videos, that's a video a month. I think that was quite fair and thankfully I hit the goal last year. However, if you notice, um, I did lag a bit towards the end of the year and I was just putting out these vlogs and stuff like that to make up just to kind of hit my goal-ish and also to not procrastinate and take anything into the new year. Um, yeah, so I'll be explaining all that in this video because it's been a while since I sat down to do a sit down since I sat down to do a sit down video. So for those of you who may have subscribed recently, for those of you who are just getting to know who I am, I am a research student and my life pretty much revolves around that. And it gets really busy. When I say really busy, I mean really busy. Like a nine to five is not enough to commit to research life. So I commit a lot of my time and effort into that. And I'm not gonna lie, it is difficult. Um, I have cried on some days, I have been confused many days, um, loads of ups and downs and all, but yeah, it would all pay off in the end by God's grace and I'm hoping to kind of show you guys a video of that experience at the end of all this and all, yes, it's a long journey and I'm documenting that along the way, so I guess um, at the end I may or may not share that with you guys but yeah my whole point is um basically i've got a busy schedule and youtube is something i started as an escape from my busy schedule um not just an escape as well also as an avenue to share my knowledge inspire people entertain educate people and to learn from you guys as well plus i also love to create stuff so i also thought to use this opportunity to chase my passion learn some new skills you know improve the skills i have already as well and so far it's done most of that for me um however it's not the main thing i do in life and i never really started this to be a source of income as well i guess that's why i haven't taken it seriously i mean if that happens in the future i would be grateful to god but that's not my goal just now my goal is to put out the kind of content i would like to see on this platform and also to um, educate inspire entertain like i said in my very first video but yeah it's been a year since i have been on youtube and i thought it would be a great idea to just share the things i have learned like i said it gets hard out here it is hard um and interesting as well not like it's hard 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 it's not the hardest thing i've done in my life but it's kind of complicated and there's a few things yeah small details and stuff like that anyway i'll be explaining all that for you guys in this video so i guess that kind of leads me on to my first point which is life happened life actually does happen like i mentioned i had this ambitious goal to release this number of videos to do this do that i had like a whole list of stuff i was going to do 
But then, how many did I do at the end of the day? I'm not kind of downplaying what I've done in my efforts. I'm just saying life happens and that's completely fine. Like it's normal. Even the Bible says that many are the plans of men, but at the end of the day, the will of the Lord will prevail. So it's good to make plans and all this stuff, but just to know that life happens sometimes, that was what happened to me. Life happened and I had to kind of pick my priority and um, that's what I did. I picked my priority in that season. I'm hoping to put out more content this year, but I'm not making any promises. I'm just going to take you one step at a time and try to have fun in the process because I don't want this to feel like a chore. So yeah, life happens. That's what I learned and it's okay to kind of um, take a step back. It's okay to reassess a few things. It's okay to um, change plans as well. It's completely fine when life happens. Another thing is I did not expect to overthink this much. Naturally, well I hate to admit this, but I can be an overthinker and the amount of thought and thinking, or oh, that's the same thing as thought, the amount of thought and overthinking I have done just because of YouTube is so much like so so much I guess it's because of the world we're in today we're in a hypersensitive world I mean this is the internet this is social media anything you say can be used against you so I've been cautious of the kind of things I want to say and it's like trying to walk on eggshells not step on any toes not break any eggs it's made it feel very unnatural I'm a Christian and it's like trying to put out content that doesn't go against my beliefs at the same time trying not to please people over pleasing god so it's like trying to find the perfect balance really of the kind of content i want to put out there but yes yeah, one of the things i have learned over thinking the most random of things this leads me to my next point which is be yourself before starting my YouTube channel, I watched loads of videos and this is one thing I heard in almost every video. Everyone said, be yourself, be yourself, be yourself. And I went in with the mindset, I'm going to be myself. But I don't think I was myself the first few months. I guess it took me a while to kind of open up because you're putting yourself out there. I guess that has to do with my personality as well. I want to believe I am an ambivert, so I can be an extrovert and an introvert when I want to. However, in my comfort zone and in my space, I tend to be an introvert. So it's like trying to overcome some of that to put out a YouTube video was a bit more challenging than expected and in some instances I found myself doing the most and going all out and just yeah being so dramatic for no reason and yeah I guess over time I've learned to be comfortable in my own skin and learning to see what style works best for me and making sure I am not changing myself to please people but being myself whilst I do the things I do I don't want to be a YouTuber I just want to be me uh, Mariah putting content out there on YouTube so I'm just hoping to walk in those shoes and not step out and try to be someone else in the process of trying to be YouTube famous stuff like that on a positive note I learned that being on YouTube has improved my communication skills a lot when I say a lot I mean a lot in my 25 facts about me video I mentioned I speak too fast I still think I do but I speak a lot slower than I used to speak before from being on YouTube because kind of you hear yourself speak I edit my videos so it's like picking up on things certain accents certain mispronunciations um, a bunch of things and from that it has improved my communication skills a lot and I have seen the progress people around me have said the same as well so I'm super proud about that actually to be very honest that's one of the reasons I went for YouTube because I felt I needed to work on my communication skills and I knew being under this pressure of sitting in front of a camera and speaking to the camera would kind of help me work on that better and over time I've seen it has done that and I'm so proud and excited so for struggling with like communication skills or trying to be confident on camera or public speaking and stuff like that I would suggest highly recommend starting a YouTube channel if you think that's extreme for you maybe a quiet one for just family and friends not something very loud and if you think that's so extreme for you then I'll just say record yourself every now and then but just leave it on your phone 
and see the progress over time and then you see the improvement as well see how you speak see how you act your mannerisms your behavior just in general just your confidence on camera as well or your confidence in public so yeah this has helped me in that way and this is one of the biggest positives i've taken from youtube and i'm happy to share that with you guys as well another point is the fact that it's not about the numbers it's about the impact I went into YouTube, like I said, not with the mindset of making money or turning this into a second source of income or whatever. If that happens in the long run, like I mentioned, glory be to God, but that's not my goal. So I guess that also takes a lot of pressure off of me because I'm just trying to spread positivity, spread love, spread knowledge, spread impact, inspire people. As I get to learn things about life, as I get to grow, to also make sure the people around me are growing with me as well. I would be lying if I said I have not been discouraged once or twice because of the number. However, I try to remind myself to focus on the goal, which is just to impact people's lives positively, to spread positivity and not focus on the numbers. If all that is happening, I don't really care about the numbers. Even if it's just one person benefiting from every video I put up that is a huge impact imagine what happens when I get to a hundred videos that's a hundred lives that I would have touched one way or the other so learning not to focus on the numbers and that actually builds authenticity because then I show up here being myself and not trying to be someone else for numbers and stuff so yeah impact over numbers every day my next point is social media is addictive dare I say toxic. I found myself sleeping away and I was like, no, wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> and I had to grab myself back because you actually start losing yourself. And when you start a YouTube channel or in my case, when I started my YouTube channel, I thought, oh, I had to also kind of back that up with my Instagram and kind of like let that walk hand in hand. I found it wasn't really working out for me because yeah, some days, I was tempted to do things I didn't want to do for the sake of publicizing my channel and stuff like that. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. I had to kind of call myself back. In fact, right now I am off social media. I am no longer on Instagram um, temporarily and I don't have an idea when I'm going to be back. I have no plans of coming back soon actually because I'm living life outside of social media and I am being more present in what I'm doing and life has been so much better and happier for me as well. So I don't know if I want to go back or when I plan to go back as well. But the whole point of this is basically give yourself a break. This is not just for YouTubers or content creators. I was both on the creating and the consuming side of social media and I found it wasn't healthy. So I can imagine those on just the consuming side. It's like you're consuming so much social media and it's just kind of affecting your mind without you knowing and you get to a point where you're addicted to the dopamine that comes with that as well and you no longer have self-control. So I really would advise taking a day off in a week, a week off in a month, a month off in a year. I mean, whatever works best for you, but taking time off social media every now and then because it gets really addictive and it's not helpful. And the worst part is you don't realize when you fall in dip until you find yourself at the bottom and you're sunken at the very end because you see many people doing their things, living their lives, and you could just easily pick up habits you don't want to or not feel content with your life. A bunch of things here and there. I'm not saying this is everyone's story. Some people have more self-control than the others. My point is anyone can be a victim. You don't want to get to that point before you realize it's not healthy for you. So trying to find the perfect balance between being on social media and being on social media. For me right now, where I'm at in my life, I am happier without being on Instagram. Instagram is my most active social media platform and I felt I was consuming so much more than I was creating or consuming so much more than I should have. So I just thought, you know what, Instagram, you're not going to control my life 2022. I am controlling you. Therefore, I am dating you from my phone and I did that start of the year and my life has been amazing so far gonna make a video on that if you guys want me to but yeah the whole point is just figure out what your weaknesses are and make adjustments to suit that so yeah that is that on social media and finally my final point is it gets better over time just like everything in life it gets better the more you do it the more you get used to it it's like the creativity the editing you grow into it so over time it gets better my editing skills a year ago versus today is like night and day 
I have learned so much over time, um, tried a few techniques, seen a few things I want to do, a few styles I want to put into my channel as well. I'm not saying I'm a professional, by the way, I'm just saying over time you get better and the evidence is seen through your videos so everything gets better even being comfortable in front of the camera the creativity like i mentioned everything just gets better over time and you feel more like you belong here and you don't feel like an imposter feel like you're faking or stuff like that so yeah that is my life updates slash the things i have learned from being on youtube in the past year I hope at least one person has found this video helpful and has learned something new as well. I am so happy and glad to be back. I am not promising I'm here to stay, but I'm gonna try my best to stay here as long as I can. Um, but yeah, let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the comments section. I have got a few things planned out for the year, but I hope you guys can stick around for that. Do not forget to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Do not, do not forget to, do not forget to, oh my goodness. You see, this exactly is what I was speaking about. I don't have any clothes. No one told me about that. Things you have to think about because it gets boring and it looks a bit depressing as well. Not really, but maybe kind of. Um, let's take a thumbnail. I have actually missed my bloopers. That's my favorite part of my videos, and I have missed editing this part of my videos. Whew. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It feels good to be back. So I hope you stay tuned for that. Let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Catch you guys later.